this is a demonstration how we can map a street uh, image to uh, d street image to a three dimensional terrain and how uh, the terrain can be modified by by the street so we start with this model this is uh, an area with uh, 2000 meters uh, and 1000 meters uh, i use uh, uh, points at any 10 meters that means we have here uh, uh, nerves with 20,000 points and this is our street model in this case it's a two-dimensional object uh, which we can download for example from OpenStreetMap uh, so the database uh, for the NURBS is this point set and what we have to do is we have first to map uh, this 2D curve up to the surface and this is the mapping is now this line I hide the grid again so we see this and the next step what we want to do is we want to uh, create a stripe here of a distance of say uh, 20 meter and we want to go uh, on the street uh, 3 meter down into the earth and so we can calculate a new terrain and the new terrain uh, first as point cloud looks like this we can compare it with the old point cloud then here we see the differences I hide the piece spline and the street so we can see here the modification and we also have uh, the new terrain as uh, spline and here we can see the modification in this place uh, and we can create on the new uh, terrain the street this is now this red line So here are three uh, quad views uh, of the details. The first quad view uh, shows us the point clouds, the old point cloud and the new point cloud. The second quad view uh, shows us the Uh, starting configuration that means the, the terrain and the 2D curve and the third quad view uh, shows us the results the modified terrain and the new street there are uh, two possibilities uh, to visualize the terrain the first is using a NURBS interface or a NURBS uh, a calculated NURBS surface and the other one is uh, to use a mesh the mesh uh, is calculated uh, with factor 100 faster than the NURBS so it's a good idea to use the mesh for the first steps of design and here the same is for the new terrain the mesh too I see here the difference is the old terrain is the black one and the new uh, modifications are now these uh, blue areas and we have the same with NURBS I hide the meshes and display only the NURBS and so we see both the old one and the new one 